now have 72 hours. He's been one of the most haunting voices and brutal killers in all of ISIS. It's only right we continue to strike the necks of your people. And now it appears that Jihadi John's reign of terror is over. Tonight, the U.S. military says it is confident that a drone strike in Raqqa, Syria, killed the British-born Mohammed Mwazi. And this guy was a human animal. Uh, and, and killing him uh, is probably making the world a little bit better place. CNN has learned that the U.S. had been secretly tracking the infamous ISIS frontman in Raqqa for several days. Using three MQ-9 Reaper drones, American and British, like this one, to track his movements and listen in on his conversations. By Wednesday, the intelligence was firm and the mission was a go. After zeroing in on him in Raqqa, the U.S. watched as he walked out of a building and got into a vehicle. Three drones overhead fired two missiles into the vehicle, killing the man believed to be Jihadi John. Certainly the uh, role that Mr. Mwazi has played uh, in radicalizing individuals around the world and inspiring uh, individuals to join their cause uh, made him uh, a threat not just to the region, uh, but to um, countries around the world. If confirmed, the strike would be a significant intelligence victory in a country where, until recently, the U.S. had thin intelligence assets. However, recent operations have killed three senior ISIS leaders, Abu Sayyaf in a special forces raid, recruiter Janaid Hussein in an airstrike, and now, apparently, Jihadi John. There will always be somebody to take these people's place. And yes, we should go after them, but we also have to realize that they're going to regenerate their leadership cadre and they're going to bring people in that we've never heard of before and then the process starts over again.